Well, I've been coming on this coastline over 60 years because I'm a fisherman. So I've been out there a lot of that time. Not being able to live by the sea, it would be heartbreaking for me, to be honest. The row of seaside homes in Skipsey in East Yorkshire, where Peter's lived for 20 years, is under threat from coastal erosion. The east coast of England is, is one of the highest eroding coastlines that there is in the world. So essentially it's all composed of very soft material. And as a result of it being soft and then exposed to storm waves, it can erode particularly rapidly. We lost 25 metres of cliff, a four metre road. All these properties at some time in the near future will not be here simply because they lack sea defences. These defences at nearby Mappleton are protecting the village and the strategic coastal road, but they're costly. There is no way government will allow defences all the way along our coast. Protection will be allowed for the areas of Bridlington, Hornsey and Withensey, where there are a number of people living, shops, a community. But the areas in between, they are absolutely adamant that nature should be allowed to take its course. It really would not be feasible to defend the whole of the East Yorkshire coast. It just is not a practical option cost-wise, but also the, the damage it would do to the ecosystem elsewhere um, is significant. You can't look at a single place and make an intervention in, and it not have an impact. We have no community left now because people have been served eviction notices. They've been moved out, they've had the properties demolished. Some have been found council accommodation. If we possibly can, can find an empty property or something suitable in the area they've come from, then we will do that. Bearing in mind we have a long waiting list for our council houses, but they would go to the top of that. They would be classed as being a priority. There's no national compensation scheme for people who lose their home to erosion. At least we should be talking about a better package of compensation for homeowners for land and lost property. We know that there, there is an obligation here to help people who've had no control over what's happened. They, they were in their properties in good faith, thinking they would be there for the rest of their lives. A recent report by environmental campaign group One Home shows that by the end of this century, more than 2,200 homes in England could be lost to the sea because of coastal erosion. Sea level rises because of climate change. As the sea level rises, effectively, you're making a smaller space for the beach in front of the cliff. So you're going to reduce the space to absorb the waves. And then along with that, there's also evidence of increase in storminess related to climate change. And again, that bigger, bigger waves expose the cliff to more energy that's going to potentially erode it. 12 miles south in Aldbrow, the sea is steadily advancing on the cliff top community. In 2011, large sections of cliffs collapsed, taking out an access road. There was another drop in 2017. Despite the erosion, property is still bought and sold here. The local pub stands approximately 70 metres from the cliff edge. Helen Vine is its proud new owner. I just thought it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to own the building like this have a business, be my own boss, and if this was in a city, I'd never be able to afford the building, ever. It'd just be way out of my price league. On the walls of the pub are photographic reminders of how much of this settlement has already been lost to the sea. It's sad, it's, you know, eventually it's going to end up in the sea, but it's just one of them things. Didn't stop me buying it, wouldn't ever stop me buying it, so... I view it, we have it t between 20 and 30 years, that's how I look at it. And for those 20 odd years I might get here, just being so close to the sea, I can't think of a better place to live. <laughs>